Hello and welcome to Maths Games Day 3. Um, today we're going to play a game called Shut the Box um, and we're going to do it to uh, practice our number bond skills and it's a game using which you can play, you can get a Shut the Box game and you may have one at home but if you don't, don't worry because you can play it using cards and that's what I'm going to do today. So here are the cards. Now what you really need is the numbers from one to nine. So actually, if you don't even have playing cards, you're still fine. Just write on a piece of paper the numbers from one to nine. You also need two dice. Now, this is a game about number bonds. The first number bond, when it's your turn, is going to be to add up the dice rolls. Once you've added up the dice rolls, you have to turn over cards that add up to the same number. Or, and, and it could be one card, two cards, or three cards. So I've rolled two sixes, two sixes are 12. So whichever cards I turn up over have to, have to add up to 12. Now we're not talking about digits here, we're talking about the total. So if I start on nine, to get to 12 I need nine, 10, 11, 12. So I know from counting on with my fingers that I need to turn over card number nine and card number three, and that will give me a total of 12. Now, I'm playing with two lovely helpers today. They're going to have a go. The winner will be the last person who's still in. So you'll see there'll be some dice rolls that you won't be able to make with the cards. And if that's the case, you're out. So I'm passing it to my left here. Can you try and roll it in the middle then and see what you get? Tell us what you've got there. A six and a four, which added together is ten. So which cards are you going to turn over? Eight. 9, 10. So I have to turn over the 2. Lovely modelling there. I know you know 8 and 2, two 10. If you don't want to model that bit of it, you don't have to. If you know what it is, just turn it over. So um, to my left, my eldest son is still in the game. Now my youngest son is going to have a turn. Tell four. us the total. 4 plus 1 is 5. And what are you going to turn over? Five. He's just turning over card number 5 because 5 is five, doesn't need to add anything one. to it. Now it's getting tricky. I'm all right here for lots of things. I'll be all right for one. I'm not all right if it adds up to two or three. I'm all right if it adds up to four and I've still got a 10 here. You could do five. I've still got an 11 and a seven. So there's a few things there, but there's a few that are missing. And there's a five. Yes, there's a five, well spotted. Right, I have rolled a four and a three. Let me challenge you. What is four or three? Seven. Good, so we're really aiming to try and that's part of the, you can count the dots, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's the slowest way. The next best way to do it would be to start on four and say four, five, six, seven, but we're really aiming for, for getting so good that you know that four out of three is seven and there's no counting needed at all. I have a seven, so I'm turning it over, passing on to my eldest son. It's getting a bit risky now, will he be out? Tell us what you've got there. Five and a three, which is eight. Hmm. I don't think I can do it. I don't think you can. Let's think about why, why not. What would be your closest? If you had six, what would you need to make eight? Two. And if you had four, what would you need to make eight? Four. Another four. There isn't another four. If you had one, what would you need to make eight? Seven. We've got a six, but we don't have a seven. So I'm afraid my eldest son is out of the game. With your youngest son and me still in. Let's see how we get on. Tell us what you've got there. Seven. Can you do seven? Six. Yes, six and one make seven. So he got a total of seven with a five and a two there, but he's able to turn over a six and a one because it's the same you have total. To get a four. Now, the only way I'm going to stay in this game is if the total of my two dice equals four. It's no good getting four on one dice because there'll be something on the other dice and it, and it won't be a winner because it'll be more than four. What do I need to roll to win? Who can tell me what? Two and a two or a three and a one. Two and a two or a three and a one. So those are my only options. Let's see if I do it. Well, I did get a four, but I've gone over four, five, six. So I'm afraid I'm out, which makes my youngest son the winner. But we're going to do 
one more roll because there's something else that happens. Now, if you actually shut the box, which means they're all shut, then something really amazing happens. Uh, I think we'll say today, just for fun, that if you shut the box, then a unicorn will come and be your best friend. So let's see if that happens. Will he win the unicorn? So close, he's got a one there but he's just tipped it over with a four. What's the total of these two dice? Bye. No unicorn Bye. today, Bye. but you're still a winner. Yeah. And that's um, today's maths game and it's called Shut the Box.